Welcome to PSchool app. In this video, we will demo how to create your own activities and configure playlist in PSchool app. Playlist is a collection of activities. Activities cannot exist independently. All activities are part of some playlist. The user can switch between student and teacher mode from dashboard. And this option is available only for logged in users. In teacher mode, we can see create playlist option from the top menu. Remember, this option is not available for students. If we go to create playlist page, initially it will be empty. There are two ways, in which a teacher can add activity to a playlist. The teacher can pluck activities from different playlists and create her own custom playlist. If the teacher visits various playlists, she will get a plus symbol next to each activity. She can click on it and add them to her playlist. Let us add a couple of activities from different playlists. Now, let us go back to create playlist page. Here you can see all the activities we have added. This is our own playlist. We can save it. Let us give a name for our playlist. After saving, we get a unique URL for our playlist. And we can share this URL with our students. What we have done here is, we plucked activities from different playlists and made our own playlist. Now let us see how to create our own activities. Let us clear this playlist. As we have already saved our playlist, it will be available in dashboard, my playlist history. Here we can see all the playlists we have created. We can view them, edit them, or delete them. There can be only one active playlist at a time in create mode. And it will be present in create playlist link. Now let us come back to create playlist. Click on the add new activity. We will get a drop down with different types of activities. Let us select an easier one. Jumbled words. Now, the activity is added to our playlist. It is not an empty activity. It is pre-filled with some data. First let us click on the label to play the activity. Now we know the content present in the activity. Click on this triangle icon to edit the activity. Here we have three text inputs to fill. Label is the text that appears in the playlist, table of contents. It is the link to the activity. It is usually a couple of words and not a sentence. Instruction text comes inside the activity. And it is usually a proper sentence. Label and instruction fields will be present in most of the activities. And finally we have text. This is the most important part. As we enter the real content here. For this activity, we need to add a list of words, separated by comma. After entering the text, submit it and check the activity. And here is our activity. We have successfully created our activity. Let us create one more activity. Let us select correct spelling activity. In this activity, we have to select the right one, out of two or more options. This template can be used for pick the odd one out, type of problems. Label and instruction are the same as the previous template. For the text input, in single line we define one question. If there are five questions, then we will have five lines. And the options are separated by comma. The important thing to remember is, the first option will always be the correct option. This is how, you tell the tool, what the right option is. While displaying the question, we will shuffle the options randomly. Now let us add one more activity. Fill up by drag. Here the input is given as plain text. And whichever word should come as blank, is given within star characters. I mean asterisk character. If we play the activity, the content within asterisk are replaced with blanks, and the words are given at the bottom. Now the students need to drag the words and place them at the right blanks. To use the other types of templates, please refer the FAQ section. Frequently asked questions. Here, we have listed how to create different activities. The created activity can be edited at any point of time by clicking this triangle. After making your changes, please don't forget to press the save button. Then only your students can get the latest update.